Huh? This shit ain't over by a long shot. <coughs> what? All's quiet. Moving! You little piss ant. Where'd he skip off to? Y'all can stop looking when he's dead. Okay. Then where you wanna look?
like he lost his name. Must have hit it over there. Find this motherfucker anywhere. Play another hand? Oh hell. What time is it? Time for you to play another hand. Let me our money back.
don't fuck up that ass. Got him! Get over here! to you, buddy. This shirt. Must have had it over there. No twist from him. Asshole with a gun! This here has a warning. I think we got ourselves. <clears throat> He's over here, you bunch of fuckwits! Circle around here. Grab some cover. Look who I found. 
down. I'm going hunt where he skip off. To. Right over here, fellas. God damn it! He's fucking gone! Some place else to be. She was just all set to fight it out. Fuck you, what the hell? You're really pushing it. Don't end you, pal. Got him. Over here. That fucker can't be here. Fire it. Fire it now. Jesus, motherfucker. We all get a piece of it. What a voice. That fucker's mine!
Those hands fall in trouble. Doing the job as you've done slowing work at the dock union. I'm surprised Tavero's not out in the street and hunting you himself. Word is Andy Toretto's down at the dock union, demanding to know who's been stopping his people from collecting dues. Think he tipped off Greco to what's been happening? Nah. Knowing Andy, he'd probably see Greco in the ground next to you if he could. But he's a lifer, and if he's got a job to do, he's gonna goddamn well do it. Bad fucking situation all around. And it's about to get worse. Tell the boys they'll be back to work soon, Jock. You pissed Toretto off just enough that he's back at the dock union. You're gonna have to deal with him. Destroying the work permits hurt the workers, sure. But what it's really done is make Toretto and Greco look weak. Push comes to shove, Toretto will push, shove, bite, and gut you. Watch yourself. careful about telling folks you're working for Vito. He's a good man, but damn if he hasn't pissed off a lot of people. Two of you don't need the grief. I've been working for Vito for a while now. You ask me, Marcano never gave him a fair fucking chance. The dock union might not be a big, fancy-looking operation, but as long as men want to work, it's dependable. You want to work the dock, sure, you have to kick up to the union. But this shit on the Greco? Christ, it's like he wants to keep fellas from working.
search and return to patrol. Repeat, pursuit is called off. Abandon search and return to patrol. He's supposed to have my back. Mr. Toretto sees you stone again, and he's gonna deal with you. <laughs> I'd like to see that fat old fuck try. I was hired by old pal Michael fucking Greco. I'm untouchable. You know, accidents happen all the time. Especially with Mr. Toretto. Now you be wise to show some respect and do your fucking job. Them right now. Well, shit. <laughs> Gotta get behind something. Take him down! Kill one of our boys! Mm. Boxed in! Help me out! He's reloading! Don't rush him! Tag ya! We got a score to settle now! Heading for cover! Either you kill me, or that piss and Greco does. Well, since Greco ain't here...
The dock union's under control. Put some of you guys on it. You took those fucks out, huh? Good job, pal. I'll send some guys to keep watch. Get the warehouse, and we get Greco. Easy as your mama's fucking pie. Hello there. Hey, brother. Today, I'm sure the file on Vito Skelet is about three feet thick, but that wasn't always the case. Hoover didn't even acknowledge the Mafia existed until 1957, so we weren't really keeping tabs on guys like Vittorio Scaletta till after that. Now, we know he served in World War II and did a six-year stint in prison for theft and illegal distribution of federal rations. It's, uh... It's generally believed he was a made member of the Falcone family in Empire Bay, though he's also a suspect in the death of Don Carlo Falcone. Now, if he did kill the Don, Vito must have had friends in high places because he was allowed to live. He was exiled, though, and forced to relocate down here, and the commission convinced Sal Marcano to make Vito a lieutenant and give him some rackets.